Hello there and welcome back to some more Wasteland 3. In the last episode what we did is we reached Aspen. Now we're going to go and do all those things. Probably confront Vic Buchanan and hopefully not kill him, but maybe, probably, yes. I should mention that I've never actually done this part of the game before. Um, I got up to being able to do this part, but never actually did it. Uh, just so you know. Right, awareness 9. Sounds good to me. Betty's level up so you can get max coordination. What a champ. And then it will be hit chance probably. Or maybe charisma so you can start getting some more bloody... Some more uh, skill points or something because she's not very good at this. I guess pen would be good as well. Doesn't matter. Right. Um. Yeah, I could get survival up in a minute. Lucia, you've got 14 points to use. Quan didn't level up. Banshee did. Okay. I'm going to actually keep leveling up Banshee's strength. Because she doesn't spend much time running around. So she doesn't need much speed. And if I can make her quite tanky, then people won't aim for her. Because there's not much point in doing that. It's, that's my thinking anyway. Let's give you more AP so you can shoot more times. Uh, right. Yeah, you're the person who needs the most... Because you have five skills to learn. Let's go through that. You have three. Joey has technically four. You have four now. You have four now. But actually only really three. And you have four now, but only really three. Okay, cool. Joey's next to level up. Indeed. The greatest levels up the most to even counteract my 5% extra experience boost. And my massive charisma because uh, all the lockpicking and stuff is him. Also, my hair's getting more and more wild. It will be cut eventually, don't worry about that. Hello. Console appears to operate the ski lift. A simple click of the button will activate the lift and you can ride to the top of the mountain side. Let's activate the lift. Enjoy your trip up the mountain. After several unfortunate incidents when he was a child, Victory Buchanan was never allowed to be alone with a cat. Oh. Hardy Knox. Okay. I'll try and help you. All right, mate. The man chained to the spit twists and writhes. Trails of agonized, half frozen tears trail down his cheeks, dripping into the hungry flames. His back is warm to the touch, and you feel a single ember might turn into a roaring blaze. He sees you and he's begging before you have a chance you, to speak. You're not with that psycho Vic. No. Please. I don't want to burn. Oh, God. That's Hardy Knox. Free him. There you go, mate. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. My family and I owe you everything, strangers. God sent you to me as surely as he sent the patriarch. The shooter takes him and he clasps his arms, wincing. The, the name's Hardy Knox of the Hundred Families. I'd shake your hands, but uh, everything hurts right now. Everything. No, dear. Give him a minute to catch his breath. He holds himself tight, should him again, his mouth firms, and he looks up at you. Vic Buchanan. That freak. That monster. Killing folk. Cutting them open. Laughing the whole time. The Patriarch knew what his son was. That's why he banished Vic into the mountains. His anger fades a bit and his cheeks flush despite the cold. Nobody thought Vic would survive. Let alone come back with an army. He slaughtered damn near everyone he found here. Tortured the rest. Tears well in his eyes. Lucia here seems to know you. Little Lucia Wesson. What are you doing out here? Long story, Mr. Knox. Glad we got here in time. Well, you're a credit to your daddy. Helping folk like this. He must be proud as hell. She nods, her face purposefully blank. We're heading inside the lodge. Any advice? Sure. Harden your hearts. You'll see things in there. Things he's done to his hostages, the other people from families that offended him. It'll burn marks on your soul. He rubs his eyes with both hands. And he's not alone. Those breathers of his. Well, I don't know much about them, but they treated me like livestock. 
Any other forces he's got in there? A bunch of his sadistic friends. Same crew that followed him around Colorado Springs and got banished with him, as I recall. Are you ready to head home yet? Soon. I'll have to find a working vehicle. Should be some at the base camp. Well, relatively new to these parts, what did your family do in Colorado Springs? We're bison ranchers. I oversee the wrangling, and my Miriam does the real work while I play cowboy. You're welcome at our ranches anytime, strangers. Can't ever thank you enough for what you've done. Good luck to you. You too, strangers. And if you can see your way clear to saving any other hostages in there, well, well, I'm sure their people back home would be grateful. Especially the ones from the hundred families. Not that you need rewards to do the right thing, but there it is. God protect and preserve you, strangers. You're welcome. Um, by the way, we're with the Desert Rangers, just letting you know. And we're really cool. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, this isn't Vic Buchanan. Oh, good. I thought it was him because he was talking about it like it was him. Alright. Great, move over a bit. Get a good shot. Nice, clean shot. And these bad boys. Got 3 AP, enough to get back into cover. shoot the fumers. They're the ones that are going to cause me some grief. The Banshee's going to need to get back out. I bet he's going to run all the way up. Then start blasting. By blasting I mean cutting of course, but... Alright. One. tank sure could have been could have been bad but I chose not to make it bad it's fine Joey if I stand here then I can super blast these individuals and then let's see it you get up here we can make it so the breather can't move Pretty good. In fact, I just straight up kill him. Cool, and then Banshee can wait. Ow. Aha! These guys are gonna come. Do what they need to do. Ow, 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 ow. I'm hoping you can't also shoot from there. You can't. Beautiful. That should be a fairly straightforward operation now. Get scored. I'm so scaled. No. Oh. Fight about please. Robust. Do what you do what you must do. Okay. Have to stand in front of the way again. Blast them. Good shooting. Okay. Now. Kill the fumer with as many strikes as it takes, then kill the crazer. Beautiful. Then run over and try and heal kill this fumer too. Oh yeah. Lucky action. Beautiful. And then we'll shout and surprise him to just to make up the difference. Shaolin supplies. Bonk. Okay. 140 damage. You're dead. Now I can run over and do a, a little shoot. A little shoot my scoop. Okay. 
then loose here and get here and blast them. Bye. I've got a lucky action top. I'll take the 31. It wasn't necessarily going to work, but it was worth a go. Uh oh. That's the, not really what I meant to do. <laughs> I obviously didn't want to uh, try and kill them with that thing. Hopefully it won't matter, but it was a mistake. There you go. Okay. Ow. I mean, there are far too many people around to, for this to matter. Thank you. And the robot healed me, so I'm actually not even that, ha that hurt. Bye. Okay. He's hurting. Okay. Right, I'm gonna get your explosives up to nine. Just in case this is enough. I think he's probably big to blow if I had to guess. I, I but as I said, I've actually never done this part of the game before. So I don't know. I got two here. So the enemies and then left again. Right then, folks. Thank you. Riley, what's up? We made it. Hoped you would. I stand to shake your hands, but around two days ago, I missed a call because I was in the can. When I got back, they nailed my feet to the floor. You shouldn't stand for that kind of thing. Forgive me if I don't laugh. I've been sitting in my own piss for two days. It's not the worst part. They were laughing when they did it. Like kids playing a game. Get me out of this, Rangers. Get these goddamn nails out of me. We have some medical training. Let's get you fixed up. He eases back from the desk, give you room for work. You numb the wounds, extract the nails, and give him a shot of antibiotics and bandages swollen bloody feet. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, let me give you a situation report before I pass the fuck out. Vic, the Patriarch's son, is in the Patriarch's wing, doing God knows what. Rangers. I can't say this enough. Mm. As bad as his guys are, Vic is worse. Much worse. Worse than nails in the feet? Yeah. As bad as that was, I'm alive. I'll probably heal. Mm -hmm. Vic's games leave people dead. I heard Ash. It's one of Vic's inner circle. Saying he had the key to the Patriarch's wing. He's in some kind of security control room. Not far down the hall. Right. More importantly... Vic has hostages. Killed most of them. But two from my team are being tortured. And so are three from the hundred families. I don't know their exact locations. But I strongly suggest you try to find those five hostages before taking on Vic himself. Okay. What do you know about the hundred families' hostages? He's a male. Part of the Ward family. The two sisters. Part of the Reed family. Can't really say much more. Even before the nails, they kept me locked down. Okay. You mentioned the rest of your ranger teams being held to. Where are they? Overall, I'm not sure. I know they took Pazepi to a science lab. They have her working with someone named The Gift. Sounds like that big brain of hers is keeping her safe. I have no idea where they took Laloka and Rook. The guards in the lobby kept joking about how lucky I was compared to what Vic was planning for the two of them. I really hope they're okay. What a fucking mess. Hey, tell us more about Vic's people. The breathers. They never talk to me, but they look tough. I'm not sure what they want or why they're working for Vic. Okay. Tell us about yourself, Corporal. Well, you probably know my brother, General Woodson. Wade. I spent a lot of time helping him, and I never got any field experience. That was the point of coming to Colorado. Looked like I got it, huh? More than I can handle. Wade's gonna laugh and laugh. Your brother drove you to this. What? No. 
He told me not to go, but I had to, you know, prove myself. What an idiot, huh? Spent a lot of time behind the radio giving orders, never getting them, never seeing what the world was like outside my brother's shadow. I have to say, I miss those days now. To think I used to worry about losing my shit in a fight. Then you got your nail feet to the floor and still managed to call for help? Yeah, and it feels good. We'll be back. Get some rest. Yeah, I'll try. Right, don't do anything silly. Sounds like someone's alive in that room to the left. Okay. Let's just pick the lock. As she approached the study security door, you could find a known voice. Uh, hey y'all, I can hear you outside the door. Hello, my name's Ash. I guess I shouldn't tell you that. Anyway, Nick says you can't come in here. Uh-huh. The security on that, this door isn't that good, Ash. Okay. Fine, we're leaving. Okay. Uh, see you. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. He might be full of shit. I'm a little bit concerned that he isn't bluffing, though. And if he isn't, then Looks I don't. Like they never had a care in the world, huh? Picture of the middle-aged woman, three young girls, possibly their daughters. The picture is not old enough to be pre or It's covered in a layer of dust, as if no one looked at it in years. The woman will seem content and healthy. She must be fairly well off. Shoot him. Okay, that'll do. Thank you. All right, everyone else run away besides Betty. Betty's gonna handle this one like a champion. Was there someone else around? So there is. I didn't know they were there. Right. Go on. Move up here. We need to be able to see. Who's here? Get me up. Still can't see them? Oh, now I can see them. Can't shoot them, but now I can. Go on. Take a shot. Okay. Actually, I don't even think anyone else can get there. I mean, I can... Yeah, I might be able to do this. Yeah, I didn't expect this fight to be like this. If I'd have known, I'd have done something differently.
Yeah, I mean, I knew it wouldn't that they wouldn't last long because they don't have that much health. But okay, right. Injury kit. I need one. Okay, cool. Everyone else is fairly okay. If I'd have known that, I'd have got over here and shot them from here. Well, I don't know about. This is the gift. Okay. Yeah, what I don't know about is where anyone is. You shouldn't be coming after me, strangers. My father's the real monster. Him and Libby. At least I'm wrong in the obvious places. You can trust my kind of crazy. Cut off your fingers and shove them up your ass. Savage! All human beings for fingers. Okay. Can I shoot the tank from here? Yeah, I can. Ooh, we've got enough to actually shoot again. That never happens. Okay. Betty, you're going to have to Gertrude the Gruesome. The one-on-one -on -one slugfest. Five hundred life. Okay, fair enough. Understood. Great. Right. We do what we must. Good shooting. Good shooting. Okay, Joey. I missed a 95, you fucking prick. <laughs> it's fine, I just just know myself. What a fucking give on. Okay. Oh, I guess I just can't see them from that distance. I rolled low. Damn. No, please. Okay, you're gonna bloodlust, okay? It's fine. Ow. You fucking crit twice. Jesus. Okay. This is gonna be a quick kill then, because otherwise I'm gonna very die. That's why you have me, I'm gonna very die. Mm -hmm. He's running and he's coming. dead. Hit him with as much as I can. Right. I healed him. Take a shot. Why not? Oh, I can't. Okay, fine. Target's hit chance by 25%. Yes. That was some nice shooting. Do it again. Okay, 45. Okay, I stand here, can shoot twice. Maybe kill. Okay, injury kit again. This would just be how things go, or how they tend to go. Oh. Isn't it great to be alive? I suppose so. Okay, right. Let's take their loot. Get the flare. They have the flare. The sickle. 
Go and some of the shite I don't care about. But we can take some of the stuff I do care about. So I've got to go around killing all their people. Anabolic injector. A wearable injector that gradually releases steroids directly into the user's adrenal gland. Temporarily increases muscle mass suppresses cortisol production. Do I need... No, I don't. Okay. There you go, buddy. That more IP means I can shoot more bullets. More reliably. Right. Use the freezer key. Don't kill me. The loca. A woman in ranger gear staggers out of the freezer. She seems to have lost some fingers to frostbite. Yeah, you're uh, rangers from Arizona. Uh. Yes, we came here in the convoy. And it took you this long to come looking for us? Uh, God's fucking tits. They put me in this freezer to cool off after I kicked Vic in the sack. <laughs> Funny, right? And some greasy, shit-licking chick's been cutting on me for days. Calls herself Gertrude the Gruesome or some such shit. Wait, she's not dead yet, is she? Her body's around here somewhere, or what's left of it. She appears the corpses on the floor. I see her. Fucking balls. I wanted to murder her. Name's Laloka, by the way. Give me a sec to get my shit together and I'll get moving. And once I do, might drop this fucking badge and walk all the way back to Atchison territory. Can we bandage you up? Nope. The pain's keeping me awake. You're not doing bad for someone who got tortured. What? This? The missing fingers and toenails and stuff? Ain't nothing. These shitlords are fucking amateurs. I mean, take a finger right away? Where the fuck you gonna go from there that's worse? She shakes her head. I tried to fucking tell him. Look, you gotta build. Slices, mm. cut, gouges. And then you take a finger. If they're still awake. But no, they cut off the finger. With a clean goddamn knife, mind you. And then make me eat it. Like forced fucking cannibalism's gonna break me. Yeah. I told him, bitch, I chewed on that knuckle when it was still attached. And I'm pretty fucking hungry right now. Thanks for the dinner, motherfucker. Not on that pinky all night. And ask for seconds. You mentioned Atchison territory. Where's that? In Arizona, kids. One of the rail nomad tribes. The better one. Being here is almost like being at home anyway. The way the breathers squabble with Vic and his bargain basement sadist. That's Wasteland 2 stuff. Uh, anything you can tell us about this place? Hands on hips, she stares at the ceiling. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. The chick in the wheelchair? Not sure if you met her or killed her. Because you know I was busy screaming and cursing and shit. But if you didn't put a bullet in her head yet, she might turn on Vic. Give you some breathing room. Give it a try. It's a hunch, but a good one. Why do they call you the loca? You know, I get asked that a lot. Not sure why. Anyway, Kekaba, asshole who runs the choppers, pissed me off. Don't remember why. Huh. Anyway, I threw a fuck ton of waste wolf shit at them. Ran like hell. But they caught me anyway. Spent a week staked in the sun. Laughed the whole time. Okay, we got it from here. Get to safety. Sure, why not? Right after I raid the kitchen. I'm fucking starving. Freeze ray. Okay. So, our cats and our wolves took a bit of damage, but nothing too major. So if someone in a wheelchair, if we see them, we might be able to get them to turn on Vic. Wobble. What the fuck is this? You guys are crazy. Okay. Everyone, move away for a second. Obviously the cats and stuff are going to move in. We just need to get out of the way of immediate danger. So that we don't get, you know, blown up to high hell. Take it from the dream. 
Because the Nox bomber is going to come and try and blow us all up. But if we can stop that from happening, all the better. So I've still got uh, Thunder Strike, right? So I can try and Thunder Strike the bomber. Yeah, my wolf and cat are like carrying now. I'll go hit the bomber. Oh, I got one for free. Cool. Right, then he gets stunning so he can't bomb anyone. Let's keep swinging. Okay, cool. Right, now then. Shoot you. Move up here. Get a better shot next time. Lucy it. Take the shot. Could have killed him one, didn't kill him one, but could have. Is that a plump pop cover? No. This fume is gonna do some fuming. I have a feeling about that. Is going to do some fuming too. She. Okay. Don't quite have enough AP to kill instantly. But if I kill him, yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. And with my extra AP, I can actually do some good, good work here. I can hit you from there? True enough. Right. Let's hit the fumer like this. Do a nice chunk of damage. Then get here. And ready up in case anyone comes to attack. There's two more fumers. Or breathers, they're breathers. Nice. No burning, please, thank you. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, like, seriously. The wolf and the uh, cat can kill an enemy on their own every turn. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't. Betty, you shouldn't take 11 hits to kill this thing. So that's always a bonus. Then I should be able to come over and kill the humor as well if I'm lucky. Not, maybe not. No, just about barely. Cool. Okay, then I can run over here. Give me enough to do two shots. They're behind cover. Yeah, I guess this is my best shot. Okay. The double tap is done. Then Lucia. Get over here, can get one shot. And blast you in the head. A decent hit. Okay, then Banshee. Can't really do much, but if I get over here, get a 95er. On the lad. Kill him. Then Joey gets a level up, so that's good. And then I can might be able to destroy cover. I don't know if I can, but I can try. Problem is Lucy is in the way. So instead what I'll do is I'll get over here and wait. If they make any funny moves, I'll kill them. Same with Grey. Actually, he's running away. It's fair enough, honestly. Lucia is in a position to get shot to death. What did you just heal? You healed someone. Jesus Christ, this wolf is too strong. <laughs> So yeah, get behind here, just block him in the face. If you hit him, he dies. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Alright. Every fight we can get away with not having anyone die in is a good one. What have 
happened was that. That's an M19, same as what I've got now. Okay. But that's it's it, we're getting there in terms of item quality and stuff. Sauna. Interesting. This might actually be more length of this time videos. Control the airflow to the sauna. But I uh I think I can go for an hour today, as long as it just keeps going. Like or maybe we'll just get to before Vic. Depends how long it takes, honestly. Okay. Pick the lock. Give me some money. Pick the lock. I hacked it. It's been hacked. Let's have a look. Computer display reads Sunny Clean Pool Hygiene Monitoring System V1021. It's been 37,165 days since the last water quality test. You wish to test the water quality? Yes. Commencing water quality test. Warning High levels of human blood under the body fluids detected. pH level is normal. Do you wish to drain the pool? Yes. Commencing drain cycle. Warning The presence of human remains in your pool may void your warranty. Contact customer service for details. Let's go look at these corpses. The Columbian Battle. Nice. A lot of dollars. Okay. A lot of dollars. And extended mag and fifteen dollars. It's just twelve by default, but you can get higher than twelve, I'm sure you can. Maybe not through regular means, but all right. Experiment in progress. Nerd stuff. Admin override. Shut down experiment. Terminate experiment. Disabling gas. Unlocking airlock. <laughs> Estin Ward. The door is open. The gas is vacated. A middle-aged man has exited the That's room. Estin Ward. What in blazes did they do to him? <laughs> he starts coughing violently and after a brief pause he begins hyperventilating and shaking. Try to hold him still. He flashes in your arms, choking, shuddering. Bit by bit, his struggling subsides. He slowly, steadily calms down and begins breathing normally. His mouth twitches, trying to form words. <laughs> His brow wrinkles at the sound of his own voice. This gas took his voice, but he's stable. There's nothing more you can do for him. Gas victims. The courts and those who cannot survive the Gosona gas experiments have been played, piled in this corner. So he'll live, but um, with life changing injuries. That's the best I can do for him. Unfortunately. Right, the gift. She's in the wheelchair. So we think we can solve that problem. Okay. Right, so. There's going to be some talking involved. I level up again, so what would I like? I've already got up to three, so I don't need anything else. Just more hit chance, more damage. It's me. Let's get nerd stuff up to 10 because I feel like I might need it. Let's upgrade everything else by one apiece. Um, I've got to remember that I can hack robots. Let's do that because what I must buy the, the perks for. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, next person to level up would be Quan. Alright, let's see. The gift. The woman in a heavy wheelchair looks at you, then looks at the green skinned woman in a range uniform beside her. Guards glare at you, but are clearly awaiting her signal. Sound like you. Sound like you. Do you know them? Yes, gift. I know them. They don't want to hurt anyone. They want to help. Giuseppe's eyes are focused on you. She's mouths stay calm. Is that so? So, Rangers, you've killed many of my breathers on your way here. You want to help? Let's start by ending the killing then. Ranger, are you alright? You care for your tribe. Good. 
we have this in common, as I care for mine. But understand, my breathers don't live in the same reality you do. Hmm. They move in and out of the dream under Victory's guidance. And Victory guided them to fight off intruders. So, introductions? I am the gift. I make the gases that enable my breathers to live in the dream. But it was Victory that first showed us the dream. It is his guidance that shows us the path through it. But I do not approve of all this killing. Why bring death into the dream? Mm. And not all you outsiders are that bad. Pazepi here has been a real help. So, let's talk, yes? Of course. We don't enough yet to trust you, but we can talk. There's wisdom in seeking knowledge. Let's talk more then. Your friend will stay with us to ensure everyone stays on their best behavior. So, you must have questions. As she awaits your questions, you realize something. A gift is wearing the dress of the woman in the picture you found in the memorial hall. Your chair is impressive. Is it powered? Yes. Victory Buchanan gave it to me. Strong. Reliable. Is this their mother? It lets me move. Broken as I am. Can we take a closer look at the chair? Once. Yes. You examine the chair, instinct tickling back your mind. They every powerful battle under this one clue. You kneel down for press look, took beneath the guest seat in the nest of innocent wells, a small black rectangle. There's almost certainly a bomb. You have a bomb beneath your chair. Let us disarm it. You disable and remove the device from beneath our chair. The gift reaches out and takes the bomb from you. Would have killed me. Others. Another of Victory's small jokes. She took the still ice away in her chair. Is this you? Yes, it is. My mother. My sister. Me. Ah, oh, she's one of the daughters. This was before. Don't remember this place. Too long ago. But this was her home. Mm. The girl I was. The girl that broke. The girl victory healed. Whisper. Vic healed you? Yes. I mean, I don't remember. I woke up broken. Mm -hmm. Victory was there. He greeted me with a smile and a hug. Found me and fixed me. I am the gift because of what I bring into the world. Access to the dream. Victory showed me this. He showed us all. Victory is a psychopath. He wasn't the one who saved you. He broke you. I don't believe that. You think you know Victory. Mm -hmm. But you don't. This killing, it's not all of who he is. He gifted us the dream. He made the breathers. What are these people? Unfortunate junkies. It's not all saved by victory. Guided by his hand. Guided to help him. We need to talk about victory Buchanan. Talk then. Listen to us. Vic doesn't care about anyone but himself and is just using us. Let us take care of him and you'll be safe. She stood you in silence. A minute passes. Finally she looks away. I know. I know. Deal with him as you like. We will not interfere. The breathers will travel their own path now. Without victory. Oh, it's time for you to Pesepi. Go if you want. Can still use you. But go if you want. Thank you, Gift. Rangers, let's talk. Outside. But be warned. Other than my guards, the breathers inside this lodge are too far gone into the dream for me to reach. Mm. Avoid them if you can. Kill them if you must. Can we ask you some things about the breathers? Your curiosity speaks well of you. Ask. Are you breathing the same gas as the breathers? This? No. I need to remain in reality. To guide others into the dream. Mm. This. 
This is for the pain. You breathe this seem pretty violent. Distressing. There is no violence in the dream. But when they're in there, they're pliable, mm. suggestible, like children. I have always trusted Victory to guide them well. That was a mistake. Goodbye. Zeppi, what's up, brother? Oh, sister. Oh my goodness. Rangers! We thought we were the only ones who survived the ambush on the lake. When we got captured, I was absolutely sure the mission was dead. This is such good news! Go team! You seem to get along with the gift. We have common interests. At first, I thought she was going to cut me open. But after they gassed me to keep me compliant and it didn't work, we talked about chemistry all night. It was practically a slumber party. Cool. You didn't leave when the gift said you could go? Well, you know, it's hard to leave anywhere once you get comfortable, so to speak. Mm. I heard you rescued La Loca. Good job. I'm still worried about Rook. Knowing his attitude, they're probably not going easy on him. I see. Let's not forget about Woodson. Have you found him yet? They made him work on the radio. We did. He's okay, but they hurt him pretty bad. This place. This damn place. Sorry. Language. Vic is in the Patriarch's wing. The fancy one. The prisoners are... Well, somewhere else. I don't know. I heard a guard talking about chemical testing being done on a man in the sauna. We, yes. There were five hostages left, apart from Woodson and me. I was separated from them when the gift requested Save that I two? remain by her side. A guy named Ash told us he has a kill switch for the hostages. One thing I've learned here? <laughs> it's not safe to assume that anyone is bluffing about how crazy they are. Make sure you save anyone you can before going after him again. Okay. The other two hostages were women, and they were part of the hundred families. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where they were taken. We could really use your help out there. I'm sure you could. Truth be told, what I need right now is a breather. This place really was hell, and I need to gather my wits. But I'll be rooting for you. And let's talk once you're done here. Yeah? Okay. Now... So if this is true, then I can actually just speak to Dr. Hyde and be fine. Walkers, the gift has said to heal you. Can you heal us? Healing vapors can for a small fee. Sure. Dream. <laughs> I should get healed by everyone just to see what it's like. Thanks, brother. Let's trade. Okay, um, more med hypos. Yes, sell the junk. Oh yeah, all the money in the world. 50 caliber bullets. Let's buy, yeah, 60 is a good amount to buy. Let's have 150 bullets. 556 is a few more of them. Nice. Okay, we're good. Now, can I take your containers? You're going to get upset with me. Don't touch them. Okay. That's all I need to know. Thank you. <laughs> I won't touch it. They were very kind with me. They said don't touch it. They didn't just immediately all start shooting me. So, you know, benefit. I'm glad about that. Okay. Right. Let's go this way. So the breathers. Oh, the well. Jesus. Jesus Christo. Everyone calm down. This childish hysteria is beneath you. Your members of the hundred families, for God's sake, act like it. These are bandit scum. Nothing more. I don't know how they managed to get up here, but there's no chance they'll make it inside. We're protected by the best guards money can buy. No, no. Don't worry. That that was one of ours. Bandits don't care 
airy rocket launcher. Nobody panic. The, uh, the guards must have shut off the power as, uh, as a uh, safety precaution. Everything is going to be fine. Don't, I don't think it's going to be fine. Sorry to say. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to do. I was like, what am I in the menu for? More first aid in case I need it. Okay. Let's do all these things. Dum de dum. One of the Claude Gauntlet. I can sell all these later. I hastily scribbled notes to someone called Llewellyn for the handwriting seems as if the author was quite angry. Llewellyn, this place is a shithole. I want to clean up your station and the inside of the vault for the coach shop's face next week. Also, take an inventory of all the weapons and armor in here so we can have it on hand in case he asks. And while you're at it, give this golden hammer a polish too. If he peeks his head in, we want him to see that thing shining like a sunny day. Hello. The bloodstained young man appears to have been stabbed. He looks at you as a joyous realization. You're the Rangers! I knew you'd be coming to save us. I never gave up hope. At ease, son. What happened here? He salutes again out of sheer pride. As you can see, Rangers been stabbed just like the others but i held on played dead and when none of them were looking i swallowed the key rangers what key key to the treasury door rangers heavily armored can't be breached the treasure of the hundred families is safe as long as llewellyn is around Ugh. maybe this is too much to ask but i have first aid to be a doctor i'm not feeling so good this should help with your injuries Right, mincing occasionally, watches his interest you clean and treat his wounds. Oh, feels much better, Rangers. Much better. Oh, I feel good enough to sprint all the way back to Colorado Springs. He clutches his stomach. Uh, well, maybe in a little bit. Uh, do you work here? Yes, Rangers. I'm part of the staff. Dozens of us work up here. Kept the place nice for the families. Mm. Vic killed the staff first. He was... Brutal, but quick. Didn't think we'd be as much fun to torture, maybe. Do you, we want the key, you ate. Oh, I see. You want to make sure everything's secure. Not to worry, Rangers. It's right here, in my belly. And nobody's getting their hands on it. It's good, and stuck in there. Mark my words. Is there any other way to the treasury? Nope. The door only has one key, and I ate it. And if someone wants it, why they had to cut it out of me. Stay here for now. Right. I'll lay low. Well, we could kill a hostage to get the thing, but we have a lot picking ten, so I can just open it. Right. That's not a problem. Doo doo. -doo. Display case, the golden hammer. Gold plated hammer, smaller gold plated cast of the Patriot signature weapon. This early prototype do we'd like to be wielded as a real weapon. The design of the handle makes it seem like it's meant to slide to a specific move. Silver dollar necklace. Fire grenade, a death lance again. A hammer forge rifled barrel. Hammer box. Yes, weapon crate. A set of compact and an armor crate, which has two commando legs in it. Well, actually, it doesn't. It has a commander composite legs and a commando legs. Let's give Lisa yeah, even more power. Power! And she can have this. 20 armor. Beautiful. Okay. If I ever needed more death lances, I could get them. I have more death lances than I know what to do with. Yeah, so what my plan is just going to be to clear out all of the areas before we get to Vic. Hello. Bye. 
Alright. Oh, we're out of range because people are in the way. Understood. <laughs> now I bet you can get in. All right, punch this guy once, then get over here and hit these two. Fucking. I said hit it. Thank you. All right. Then hit this fumer. That's what I wanted. Everyone else, I'll bet you will live no matter what happens, I assume. Might be a weird assumption to make, but... There should be enough for Stormer, it is. Okay, he's dead. Get 5 AP, we can hit the Fumer again. Like so. Then, Lucia. The Crazer is going to hurt a little bit. Good shooting, though. Good shooting. Great shooting, in fact. He's dead. Get 3 AP. We can get on the button. And hang out. Turns all the gas off. Then... There's a gas hopper. I'd rather sit back and kill anyone who comes closer. Damn it. Sorry, great. Okay, at least the gas hopper didn't do anything. Everyone's so scaled. Yeah, kill the hopper. Or at least do some damage to the hopper. Good shot. Good shot, Paul. Good shot. Okay. Right then. I'll help kill the Fumer. Then, we can go and kill the Breaver. Plenty, please. Bye. Okay. The Banshee can kill the Gas Hopper. Then, Ray can shoot this guy in the head. Bye. Hee hee. Bye. His dream will end soon, they said. Is the hurting so bad? I guess these guys will have the key. Yeah. Guess sweet's one key. It's okay, Pris. You can do this. There's no point in both of us dying. Just close your eyes and run. I can't do it, Violet. I really can't do that to my sister. We'll figure out a way. You have to, Pris. Do it. No, wait. Who is that? You. You're not with them. Help us, please. Mm -hmm. Vic Buchanan forced us to stand on pressure plates. If one of us steps off, it'll blow up the other. One of us has to make a run for it and kill the other. Eventually, we'll be too tired to stand and we'll both die. We can't even take a step. I think maybe the trap can be disabled with that box over on the wall there, but we can't reach it. Okay. Ladies, it's me, Lucia, remember? We'll find a way to get you out of there, I promise. Lucy? But you look so cool. Look at her, Violet. She's got scars now. She's a proper wasteland warrior. She flushes, then nods at you. Can we just replace your weights with heavy objects? Ugh, it won't work. Victory already thought of that. Mm. If the weight is off by so much as an ounce, it'll trigger. Okay. We're going to have a look around and see what we can do to help you. Take a look at the electrical box. There must be something you can do there. Please hurry. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a quick save because this is something that I don't want to fuck up. So if I blow them both up, I'm going to be sad. All right. Hello. <clears throat> Cables running across the floor, terminating metal box bolt to the wall. The front panel looks like it can be detached easily. Remove the panel. The panel comes off easily, revealing a nightmarish tangle of wires. Whoever put this device together is either in a hurry or had very little idea of what they were doing. Look for a way to disable the power. The mess of wires is impossible to untangle, but the shoddy workmanship also means the device is easy to short circuit. Using several bits of metal and your engineering know-how, you interrupt the flow of electricity. That was amazing! You just reached in there and fixed stuff. 
Yeah. Why didn't we just pull the wires coming from the box? Instead of blinks and smacks her forehead. Wouldn't be that easy, ladies. Stuff like that only works in stories. Oh, and um, Lucia, I I'm sorry about Isaac. He's an idiot. I know. Where are you headed now? Uh, away, I suppose. We'll run back to Colorado Springs if we have to. Our mother is here too. She's in the Patriarch's wing with Victory. She's not pleasant and she doesn't much care for us, but if you can, please help her. She nods to herself, gives you a final smile and leaves. They're out of here. Right. Marriage counseling. Session 13, Jim and Nancy, March 21st, 1998. Nancy. Last time you were talking about Jim's inadequacies as a sexual partner. Would you like to expand on that? Now wait just a goddamned minute. You've let her talk for 12 sessions straight. When's my chance? See, Dr. Meltzer, this is what I'm talking about. Everything's always about you. Why the hell am I paying for these sessions when you're always taking her side? If you're unhappy with counseling... Unhappy? I wish the fucking bombs would fall, so I wouldn't have to deal with another minute of this. What's that noise? I don't know. Maybe some kind of drill? Oh no, is that... It can't be! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> right, mate. Oh, Rook might already be dead. Might be able to resuscitate him, though. Not all hope is lost. Rook, mate. Man has been badly beaten for the nearby tripod and hook. You can deduce I've been using him as a human punching bag. You should be given medical aid before moving him to avoid further injury. Apply first aid. You deftly treat his wounds. Many moments after you stabilize him, he takes a deep, rasping breath and notices you for the first time. Peering through swollen eyes, he takes you in a range of uniforms and chuckles. His amusement is interrupted by a coughing fit. Finally fucking made it, huh? Finally found the time, assholes. Sorry, we had a mission. Got here as soon as we could. Yeah, I guess the mission comes first. Fucking assholes. Uh, this shit's my fault, not yours. Couldn't keep my mouth shut. Never could stand bullies, and this place is fucking full of them. Anyway, you came for me, and I won't forget that. I guess you took out the guards. Bastards ain't so tough now. Check his wounds. Uh, hands off. I'm fine. Right. Where's Victory Buchanan? The Patriarch's wing. They dragged me in there a bunch of times for my hourly beatings. <laughs> I didn't mind much. Better scenery. Gonna be hard for you to get inside. Heavy security door. Also, I'm pretty sure they're holding the leader of one of those ruling families in there. So, uh, take it slow and check your targets. Okay, when you're ready, head for the lobby. I will. Just, uh... Gotta rest a little more. Lazy Adam Kurid. What's in the duffel bag? Ooh, melee damage bonus was 5% from Ferocious Francesca. Heart Stopper. Okay, right. So, the gas is obviously on right now. Lucia, if you step here, then the gas will turn off. Uh, everyone else, mainly Grey, because I want to see if I can mechanically fix it. All hostages are accounted for. I see. So you located and secured all five hostages? Outstanding. The man is going to love hearing all about this once we get back to the Ranger HQ. Heck, you might even get a medal. Now let's keep your success going. Go take care of business with Victory Buchanan. Nice sharp, Rangers. 10 4, buddy. Right. Look, strangers. You're going to see some bad shit here. And honestly, it's not for everyone. I've cooked some of Daddy's friends, thrown them off things, tried peeling a guy's eye. Didn't work. Okay, um, right, so we've got to deal with Ash. He said all the hostages would die if I tried to get in there again. But he might have actually been bluffing. Uh, let's quick save and go see him.
razor. A dirty, rusty razor. You made me happy sometimes. You made me glad. But in the end, baby, you just made me mad. Okay, we're going in. Okay, um, I surrender, I guess. Good job at saving all those hostages. To be honest, I really didn't want to kill them. Like, not at all. Uh, in my defense, I told you it was Vic's orders. I didn't want to kill anyone. But I can help you now that you're here, right? I can give you the key to Vic's place. Fine, hand it over. Okay. But you ain't allowed to kill me after. Or if you're gonna, you should give me a chance to run first. Fair's fair. Moving slowly, reaches for a chain hanging around his neck, unfastens it, and tosses it over to you. I remember Victory's boys. This one's harmless compared to them. And he's nothing next to Vic himself. Eyes closed, handshaking, he waits your judgment. Get out of here. You won't regret this, boss. You ain't gonna see me again. Promise. Man, I thought I would. Fuck out of here, buddy. You fucking idiot. It looks like Ash is making explosive battles out of fertilizer. Nice. There's no way he was actually gonna kill anyone. Oh yeah. Looking like a mech warrior now. Feel cool. Right, so just gotta go check that he didn't actually blow up the survivors. Nope, the one is still alive, so just one more check on Rook to make sure he's still alive and then I'll leave. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, he was chatting shit. Fair enough. Just have to make sure. Alright, so. I'll see you guys next time when we go and explore the Patriot Wing and hopefully take Vic Buchanan in. But maybe kill him. Maybe you won't give us a choice. See you then. Goodbye.